All right, folks, we're back. And I really want to cast those caps, but I'm going to work on the bed first. I'm going to uh, think what I'm going to do is get that thing torn out. Oh, we're going to tear the cover off, get this thing off. I want to possibly splash paint in there. I'm, <laughs> I don't know. Well, I got to get it closed up and sealed anyways. That's the, that plan. I got to get a little bit of paint underneath here into, I know this midsection and the front section don't have no, um, uh, there's no paint on the bottom. So I'm going to tear those out and then uh, get some paint on there really quick. Give it a scuff, get some paint. Then we can put it in. I haven't got some seam sealer. Going to have to get some seam sealer. And, oh, I just even noticed. Even this one, I know it has paint on it, but it's not actually uh, bolted in yet. So we're going to screw it in. We're going to seam seal everything. We'll leave a few little seams just for water to be able to run in and out. Or out, not in, hopefully. Um, but get everything kind of gooped. Try to dress up some of the welds around there. So that is out of the way. I don't want to, but I'm probably going to tear these things off. And so we can get some paint on those rails. There is primer in here. Or is there? We might have to give it a quick shot of primer and then maybe we'll just quickly dust it with some paint so it's kind of done. That means when we do the reprime and get around the painting, all we're going to be doing is masking off into this lip inside of here and then we can kind of tape this off and then prime slash paint all that jazz. We can get that all, all happening. Top, super happy the way that came out. That thing I'm happy with. Uh, but inevitably we got to get the box stuff done. There'll be some interior stuff we got to do. I did get the door seals on. So we have those here. I'm not sure how this stuff's loving sticking in a few places here. Anyways, what we use is that other, that D, D, I don't know, D channel. Is that right? Not the right term. I got it at Princess Auto and it's for like, trailer boxes it looks like a modern squishy gasket so one roll of that did my two doors i don't think it'd be enough if you had the full door frames because it's uh i only had about yay from here i think i had about yay much left so it wouldn't have made the transition let alone if you had a full cab but with that said and done when it's closed it is sealed uh, I've had the doors open so long because I got my interior lights and stuff in here that uh, they're not so bright anymore. So I got to get a charger, battery charger on here. And uh, I think that's why my poppers weren't working before, but I might have to revisit my poppers here. We might have to actually put some real ones in, uh, but we'll see. I don't know that it has quite enough pop to get them out, but we'll find out. We'll give it a shot yet once I charge up the battery. Uh, yeah. I think I have a game plan. So we'll start with that and then we see where we get. So first step, I'm going to pull this thing off, everything off, and then we're going to start grinding that, that front rail. I have to just get that out of the way, get that prettied up because everything else is kind of decent. Maybe we'll pull the panels off and then we can grind that just so, I don't know. I really don't know. All I know is I just want to, I want to boogie and get that bed done.
Well, we got paint on here. I realized I painted the wrong side of here, so I'm just waiting for this to dry. Flip it over, I'm gonna put some black on there. I changed my mind for the inside. I think I'm just gonna paint it white, similar to the top. So it'll be, you know, there'll be a little tape line off the edge here that we're just gonna, boom, it's gonna be white, floor white, just an off white or a flat white or something. But still gotta grind this stuff that I was talking about. So I'm gonna grind that. The inside, we're gonna clean the welds a little bit on those, but that'll probably just get a seam seal. This one's just kind of exposed, so I'm gonna kind of grind it. Maybe we'll seal it just because to pretty it up amongst all the other seams in here after we uh, get it in, get some paint on it. I just wanna seam seal over everything. I'll probably pull that latch off so I can get in there. I'm trying to find my little pieces I had that I originally made to cover that. I think in the big picture, I'll probably still make maybe a cover for that. I don't know. I gotta do something. I don't really have to, but I feel like I should because the way the filler is, it's just kind of exposed. You know, just, eh, I don't know. It's probably fine. Do something there, I guess. Change my cap out too. Need a little bit of a different cap. This thing needs a little bit of a tweaking down. Gotta do that yet. The cap was kind of always is a little bit of a bugger to get at, I guess, but the way I made it. Anyways. Waiting for paint to dry and then we can start bolting this down and then we'll kind of give it all one paint in one shot. Right, I gotta get these things off. I don't know if I'll paint those white or what I'll do. Alrighty, everything dried up here. I flipped it over, prepped this. We got that painted. This is actually the bottom side, not the top side. So I have to basically run to town. I gotta get some paint. I don't have any paint. I need some more black paint, but I need some white paint. In the means, I pull the AC unit out and uh, look for, through my fittings. Turns out I had the one that fits on the bottom or I have one that fits there, but I don't have the one that'll fit on the top. Kind of have to hit the old uh, hydraulic store and get me uh, one of them fittings. One of these. Anyways, then on this front, we have uh, the guys got their motor out last night. And then uh, they were doing a little bit of like using the laser to clean up a little bit. And uh, I guess the today they're going to get some paint under the hood here, get that all prepped up. And then I believe we're gonna get that motor all as one unit and sticking it into here and it'll be a little closer to done. They got the, well, it was mentioned before, they got the front end all done, but they were missing the, um, the links and stuff down here. The uh, center doodad didn't want to come off on the, the adjuster, didn't want to come off the old stuff. So got some, got that in. We'd have not done the wheel alignment or anything. It's just kind of loosey goosey kind of do the old tape measure wheel alignment quick just so it can semi drive down the road straight before it goes to the alignment shop but I'm about to jump in the roadster and we're gonna go to town here and pick up a few parts so we can a I decided I'm gonna just finish up the AC get that done and then I want to get some paint for the back and I need some seam sealer so off we go once I find my missing parts
some of those turbo cans. That is next. <laughs> well, back from town. Got our fittings that we need. I think they're right. Yep. Kind of wish it had an ID on it, but I think that'll work. I might actually get a different one just because now that I look at it, I don't know that I like that thing pointing at my gas pedal like that. We'll try it in the truck, we'll see. I got that one, and then we got this one. This one will be okay. Maybe there's a fitting in here. Maybe I can actually clock this thing. That wouldn't be so bad if it sat coming this way. Anyways, that said, we got that, we got some seam sealer. I was gonna try to get those turbo cans, but my goodness, they're expensive. I can probably paint a whole vehicle with this versus, this is $24 and one of those turbo cans is like $30. So uh, I guess I'll mix some paint and we'll just spray it with a gun. That is the plan. Um, where do we start? I guess I'm gonna start here. Just get these lines made, get this thing done and out of the way. I did have my last auction score. I had this hydraulic crimper. I had a, a similar one, but I wasn't too, uh, it didn't work very good. Anyways, I wasn't sure what this was. It was when I bought my brake uh, lathe thing there. So anyways, cleaned it up a little bit. Turns out it can do like your hydraulic fittings, which will do whatever, AC fittings, everything, honestly. It's, uh, it's kind of huge. Like I can put anything I want in there. It's pretty crazy. So uh, we tested it on a little, 3 8 fitting there and it worked really really well so hey basically it was a bonus when I was buying some other stuff at an auction <laughs> anywho I'm gonna squish these up and I'm gonna make the one other fitting for the other side we gotta do a little bit of wiring and then whatever AC uh, less than charging it is done um, then we're gonna get back to this I gotta do some scuffing and some shooting or some scuffing up and pull all this garbage off the back, these rods and stuff, get that fixed up, ready for paint, and then clean this edge. Get that ground down so it's not so ugly.
not sure, really. I'm kind of thinking. We'll stick that on the edge. Actually, grab that other bigger one. Take that one out. Put that bigger block there. Yeah. Don't have to worry about it. I'll hold it. You take your hammer and give her a couple swings down. Through this area here. Swing it like you mean it. Kind of hit it a little more flat. Yeah, perfect. Like that. Cool. Now hit this edge for a little bit. Yes. Uh, let's see here. Nope, right on this. I need to get that off. Here. I know you don't go there. See what we did. I think we made a little bit of a mess. To the line. Let me, let me fix that. Yeah. We'll do a little more in the middle there. Right on that crease. Wait, yeah. Yeah, watch your hands there. Take my goofy round hammer there. And lightly go into here to get that thing turned a little bit. There you go. You don't need too much. Yeah. that hammer right around there somewhere. A little more just on that edge if you can. Cool. How's it look? Just about ready for Guando. <laughs> we have to uh, do a little funky massaging in there. I have a small. Try this one. Right. right in that crease there. Nope. Probably like that. Go for one of those ball peen hammers over there. I like the. Yep, yeah, the big biggest one we got there. Nope, ball peen other on this side. Yeah, whichever's the biggest. See the back side's round. This side. Yeah. Yeah. So just. Yeah. Just try to keep it like kind of. Eh. Stay 
Well, that's not too bad. I have to fix this. All of this needs a little bit of work. Here, like, see how this is bent in? Mm -hmm. What you gotta do is put this flat, go back to your big rubber hammer. I'll pull that edge and just try to get this edge crisper. Like, yeah, you just hit her. Close to that edge will there. there, come around there and give her some beans. I'm not too shabby. Sure, what we gotta do here. I feel like we need to hit like it's close that you could planish. We'll beat we'll kinda beat it flat a little more here. Right up in this spot. Start right here. There, yeah. Now yeah, we gotta do this here, yeah. A little bit there, you can see there's a little crease right there. Yeah. yeah. Now we're just trying to pretty stuff up here a little bit. Try to keep it a little more to the bottom, like the top of the camera, closer to that. There you go. Yeah. Oh, a good hammer for this? It's probably Carl's hammer. <laughs> it's got a nice round curve on it. The mother country. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just around. We got some edge to get rid of. It's definitely looking better. Yeah. All right, we're gonna hold. We're using our workbench as a little uh, punishing hammer here. We're gonna see if you can. Is this thing got which one better for this? I'm thinking this is what we're. I feel that needs to still come. Down, you know what I mean? Like that. Well, I feel this is all still going into here. I feel like this all needs to come out, I think. Kind of hard to say. Let's just stand it up and see what it looks like. I guess it's not bad. I just thinking of this, maybe grab your other fender and we'll actually see. Maybe we're trying to make it something it's not. <laughs> Right, well, we're boogieing along. I've got all my lines. Well, you can't really see, but I got them in there. I just don't know if I accidentally twisted something wrong. I got a few drips of oil. I can't tell, and I'm just wondering if it's that 
stupid sensor thing, if I basically broke that thing, I'm not sure. We'll have to see when we try to charge it, if it actually works. Anyways, we, uh, down here, I made a little bracket or drilled a hole, but I can't get my hand in there. So I need Ryder to give me a hand to bolt this thing so we can hold this filter or whatever you want to call it in place. But then we got distracted. So Ryder's been working on his fender. So I'm helping him try to beat this thing into shape. And it's, it's actually coming along pretty good compared to where it started. It's basically, this was folded. I don't know, maybe you saw, I don't remember, but where I turned the camera on, but we got to crisp up a few lines. I think it's actually pretty good. Like it's close to being able to be planished, but uh, I'm not sure what that fender is supposed to look like. So he's grabbing his other fender, gonna bring it in and we're gonna compare the two fenders, see how they are. Um, if it's, if we're getting there and it's getting good, then we can probably get on the bolt, his clip back together. So this in the front sheet metal, I think the front sheet metal needs some work too, actually, now that I think about it. But I'm gonna get him to beat all that into place before he pulls his truck in and starts doing some rust repair on the floor there. But looks like he's got a little bit of patch work to do on here anyways. And I don't know if he's gonna put this side marker light back in, but he's slowly getting there, kind of beating away at it, figuring things out.
Well, here's where we are at. The floor is screwed down, good to go. We've painted under and inside the little access panels. This is to get at the top of the bags. If I need to undo the fitting or do something there or unbolt it, that's done. We got those mounts off. We got the rear mounts off. I have like a little thing to cover up around the filler neck. So we splashed some paint waiting for that to dry. Gonna bolt that in. Um, yeah, the rails are off up there. Those are gone. Over on this front, Riders did like an awesome job of fixing up this fender. It is, I don't know. I don't know if you've really seen it before, but it's, uh, it's pretty close to that. It's not bad. He's pretty happy with it. I'm pretty happy with the job he did. We got a few more things we could planish and maybe do something, but I think it's uh, like great. You could just bolt it on and go, considering how banged up it was before. <laughs> Anyways, you did a good job uh, planishing through and actually uh, basically metal finishing it as good as he can. Did a lot better than I can do. Anyways, I'm going to go away and have some supper and we're going to get back at that thing, grind that thing up and I think prep it for some paint. No, I'm going to probably seam seal it and then I'm going to prep it and paint it or both. I don't know. Well, it's all going to happen. <laughs> all right. We'll be back.
Well, I'm all happy the way that turned out. I think we only got one bug in it. So that's actually pretty good. Kind of happy I went with the shiny. I don't know why. It was supposed to be a flat or a satin and I realized I bought glossy paint. But uh, yeah, she's uh, shiny. That thing is a bright. So I'm uh, I don't know, pretty happy with that. Can't complain. I think uh, our next plan of attack here, probably next round. I didn't get quite as far, but we did get paint. We got that done. I actually have most of my AC all hooked up. I'm hoping I didn't break that the little module thing with Bobber, but I'll have to uh, charge it and test and see if I goofed or not. I'm thinking that thing is probably like the temperature switch, like the pressure switch maybe. I don't know. I'm hoping it's nothing. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what are we doing? Next round, we're going to get just get the bed back together so that thing's kind of... Well, do I put it all together? Yeah, we'll put it together for now. Because um, <clears throat> we do have to get this thing in primer one more shot yet. But that's like another teardown. I don't know. I like to get it in primer. That way, well, hopefully I can just drive it a little bit. But uh, anyways, next round, I want to try to see if I can figure out how to cast these caps the things I printed keep talking about them now I actually want to try and see if I can get that done uh, but the boom. so on that note I want to thank you all for watching and we will catch you on the next one later <laughs>